How's it going everyone? Chris here and on today's Blu-ray review I got a great film noir that just got released which of course is The Man Who Cheated Himself from 1950 released by Flickr Alley. And in this film Lee J. Cobb who is mostly known as a character actor takes the lead as a cop who does his job with steady weariness and yet when faced with a woman he loves too much puts everything in danger and you know he's just perfect in his role right to the last scene and his kid brother played by the slightly quirky John Dahl from uh, Gun Crazy is all virtue, almost to the point of sweet sadness. And it's a fast, curious, edgy crime film that keeps you on the edge of your seat from start to finish, and it features a great chase of pure suspense below the Golden Gate Bridge. And the two main women play believable supporting roles, especially Cobb's love interest, who is selfish and panicky to just the right degree. And the cameraman Russell Harlan does a great job with great angles and framing. It isn't elegant, but it's visually sharp, and throwing a talented but little known director, Felix Feist, and solid editing and you have just the right mix you need for a great film noir. It's definitely one not to be missed. So as far as the presentation is concerned, this film has been restored and preserved by the UCLA Film and Television Archive and the Film Noir Foundation. So the print is steady and it's a sharp image for the most part, although softness does occur while still remaining very film-like. And the black levels are nicely balanced, however you'll notice specks of debris and some scratches on the print here and there, but it's nothing to be concerned about, it's not distracting. They obviously did the best they could restoring this film. Regarding the audio, this features the mono track and it's a great sounding mix. The dialogue was clear and the sounds of gunshots had a lot of kick to it. For a film from 1950, this was a solid audio mix. So my rating for the picture quality is a 4 out of a 5 and a 4.5 for the sound. For bonus content, you get the feature at The Man Who Cheated Himself Revisited as well as the locations then and now you also get the restored theatrical trailer and a souvenir booklet. So closing it out, if you love old school Hollywood movies, especially film noir, this is a great one to add to your collection. Personally, I'm a huge fan of these type of movies, from the look and feel of it to the story and as the old saying goes, they sure don't make them like they used to. So as always, thanks for checking out my review and I'll see you guys in my next update. Take care.